Now here's something you need to think about and why it's important to consider fishing objects into the current or wind. Always take the time to position your boat where you can make the most accurate cast you can. Also, anytime there's a current caused by wind or by water being generated downstream, it's best, if possible, to position your boat down current and cast into the wind and bring your lure with the current. Here bass will face the flow and can react to your lure so much quicker and this presentation is less likely to scare them. Bringing your bait up on the fish's blind side can spook them many times, plus drifting with the wind or current will rush your cast and affect your presentation. No doubt about it, boat positioning means more fish. Always remember, your boat is more than just transportation to the fish. Think of how it should be positioned to allow you to approach the fish to the best casting and catching advantages. Proper positioning of your boat will definitely increase your chances of catching more fish. Hit it right here at the boat. What are you going to do? Huh? Yes, I got you. Got that hook out right there. And that one out. Now, here's a mighty good question. Bill, if you know of a fisherman that's caught a lot of fish, what's the most important question you can ask him? What time of day did you catch them? What lure were you using? Were you fishing shallow or deep? And what part of the lake were you fishing? Well, actually, none of these. The most important question you can ask him is, what depth are you catching? Yep, you gotta get on their depth level if you expect to catch them. You can take the greatest lure in the world and fish it at the wrong depth and you'll catch very few fish. But take the worst lure and fish it at the correct depth and you'll catch a lot more fish. He don't think he knows he's hooked yet. Yeah, he's better than I thought he was. I think that fish was near that big. Fat one. Whoa, hey, 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 hey. Now look at all that. What's up here to greet me, all those lovely, lovely hooks. Yeah, fish is a lot better fishing. There we go. That's a fat little baby. Nice. All right, Buster, I'm gonna say bye. I'm scanning out here. I've gone out. I'm looking out at 45 feet right across the bottom right here. I'm in a depth of four feet right here. So I'm looking at, I'm, I'm making casts of about at least 45 to 50 feet. And I can see a lot of these fish that I'm throwing at. You see them right here? See those fish right here? I'm panning this cove right here at 45 feet. And I'll show you something. I'm picking up fish. See them right here? See, those are 25 feet out in front of the boat. And they're about five feet deep. Right there they are. My transducer is on my trolling motor. And wherever I point that trolling motor, that panoptics, I'll show it to you, is right here. That, that unit right there. It's got a 30 degree angle on it, so when I drop it into the water, you can see it'll pick up on the unit again. And I, all right, I'm gonna turn the head of the motor. You see those fish right there? 
I just started picking them up again. That is the neatest thing. All right, I'll pan to the right just a little bit. You see, you see those fish right here? Look, they're 20 feet from the boat right here. See them? See that one at 20 feet? That's a catchable fish right there. He's 20 feet out, and he's about two feet under the surface. Now, some of those little smaller blips, they're probably crappie or big bluegill or something. But those big, those big red marks, they're, they're bass. I'm going toward them right now. They're getting closer to the boat. They're 10 feet to the boat. They're five feet to the boat. They're fixing to go under the boat right now. Last week, my son and I fished a small lake with deep diving crankbaits and 10 inch worms in 10 to 20 feet of water and never got a strike. My buddy caught several in three feet of water. What's up? When fishing summertime bass in a small body of water, such as a farm pond or soil conservation or natural lake, remember that in the heat of summer, most miniature waters lack enough oxygen down below. Bass rely on the shallows where there's a narrow, small, oxygen-rich band of water. Most anglers fish below the bass and low oxygen areas, mistakenly thinking summertime bass ought to be deep. Oh yeah. Oh yes sir. He is a nice one. Look at him bulldog it. Not the same fish that boiled it right there. There was another fish right over there I saw him do it. That's the same fish I saw just a second ago. He bit me. Okay. Here's one. About uh, worm hook. I've watched many of your shows, and you're always touting wide bend hooks. Why? Well, simply because they improve my strike catch ratio with certain size of plastic lures, like tube baits, lizards, plastic worms, and creature baits. I use a lot of EWG Gamakatsu hooks, and they're designed with a wide bend to provide extra hooking space, plus they're extremely sharp to give quick hooking and sure penetration. Okay, here's a buzzword, but it's a mighty big word when it comes to monofilament fishing lines. When it comes to fishing line, what does the word break strength mean? Well, break strength is just what it indicates. 15 pound test, for instance, is supposed to break at 15 pounds of constant tension or thereabouts. Premium line tests close to the listed strength will be most consistent throughout the line. You know, cheaper grade monofilament may claim higher test ratings, but their actual breaking strength may vary throughout the length of the line. Some sections may be stronger or weaker than the break strength listed on the label. Something you gotta watch out for. That's why just no substitute for quality. Back up that way again. Yeah. Hooked pretty good. Oh. Good old bait. you go. Like I said, when we started out, 
with our little get together today. So much depends on the questions we ask. It's how we learn. It's just that simple. I sure hope that some of the ones we've cast your way in the last little while will help you catch just a few more fish. Thanks so much for tuning in and we'll catch you next time. See ya. Now I've gone fishing with Bill Dance today.